Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create printable affirmation cards or even flash cards in Canva to sell on Etsy for passive income, just like all of these other shops are successfully doing. I started selling digital affirmation cards in my shop a few months ago and they've sold multiple times. So this is a great niche for you to get into if you've been thinking about it. So let's get into it. The first thing you'll need to decide on is whether or not you're creating your graphics and fonts from scratch or you'll be purchasing some with a commercial license so that you're legally able to use other artists' designs for your own digital products. For this tutorial, I'm using eucalyptus clip art and watercolor brush strokes that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. I absolutely love this platform. You can get so many beautiful graphics and fonts with a commercial license and with a super affordable subscription. And I actually partnered with them to give you guys 10 free downloads that includes a commercial license. So you can grab that from the description box below. Your subscription will renew after one month, but you can cancel at any time. So if you're looking for similar graphics, you just have to go into the search bar and type in something like eucalyptus or greenery or even watercolor or anything like that. So if I wanted to do greenery clip art, I can just browse through and take a look at any of these packages that I want to download and use in my own digital products. Once you have your graphics and fonts ready to go, head over to canva.com. That's what we'll be using to design the affirmation cards. If you don't have an account, just sign up for free using your email. And if you want access to their pro features, I have a free 30 day trial link in the description box below. To create your affirmation cards or flash cards, you can either create a file from scratch or you can use one of the built-in templates in Canva. So if you do want to create one from scratch, just go to the top right here, create a design, and then go to custom size. And let's say if you want like a US letter size, you could just go to inches and then put in eight and a half by 11 and then start from there. But for this one, we're actually going to be using a template. So in the search bar, I'm just going to type in flash cards and see what comes up. So you also have the option to create a blank flashcard right here, or you can go through any of these templates. Now, you're probably wondering if you're allowed to use templates from Canva to resell. The only reason you would want to use a template is if you want the dimensions already set up for you. You'll see we're literally creating this from scratch. I just want the cards in place for me already. So if I can go through these options and find one that I love, I'll just click on one and use it. Let's actually go to the top and type in affirmation cards and also see what comes up here. You can decide which dimensions you want for your cards, but I kind of want mine to be more square shaped. So I'm going to um, select this one here. So let's go ahead and use this one. There's two pages in this template and I'm just going to be using the one. So I'm actually going to be deleting page two. So let's just go ahead and delete that. And we're gonna work off this one artboard. First step is I think this artboard is an A4 size. And the way I figured that out is if I go to resize at the top here, um, it shows 29.7 by 21 centimeters. I think that's a four size. Now you can leave this as is. You don't have to change it like I'm going to right now. But I did notice that a lot of shops were offering these in uh, US letter size. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just going to change this to inches and let's go 11 by eight and a half inches and let's resize. Now to just resize it like that, you do need the pro account. Otherwise you could just go to custom size like I showed in the beginning and then just create your own artboard from scratch. Now let's start designing our cards. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete everything on here. So like I said, I'm not using any of these elements from Canva. I'm actually going to be uploading my own. I just wanted it for the dimensions and the setup. So I'm going to change the background of all these cards to white. So I've selected all of the cards and I'm just gonna go to color at the top here and I'm going to change it to white. And I also want to change the border style. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna change it to a dash line because what I want is for the customer to know exactly where to cut. So that's kind of like the cut line for them, if you will. So the border weight, I'll change it to 0.5 just to make it lighter. And that looks good. So now I've got my base, I guess, and now I can just start designing my own cards. The first step is to go to uploads. This is where you can actually upload your own files. So whether you have created yours from scratch or you've downloaded some from Creative Fabrica, you can go to upload files right here and then just place everything that you are going to use 
in here. I've already done that. You can see I've uploaded my eucalyptus clip art and then some watercolor that I have as well. So let's design the first card. I'm just going to click on this clip art. It just shows up on my artboard and I'm gonna bring it over here to this card. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so that placement is good. I'm just gonna zoom in and basically I want to crop this leaf. Okay, so I'm going to place the watercolor right about there and I want to send the watercolor and my card because it's a white card to the back. So I'm just going to select both and then send them to the back so that the eucalyptus is in the front. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just going to add the affirmation text. So let's go to text and I'm just going to add a heading and let's just put in a positive affirmation. To change the font, I'm gonna go up to the top right here. Now, there are some fonts that you can use from Canva, but I like to upload my own fonts. And you can, of course, download fonts from Creative Fabric or you can create your own. In order to do that, it is a pro feature to upload your own font. So you can do that during your trial or if you want to invest in Canva. But you would go upload a font right here in order to put in your own font. So I've already done that. So I'm going to use Star Lights and I'm gonna change the size, uh, make it a little bit larger. Now the Spacing between the text is quite large. So I'm gonna to go to spacing right here and I'm just going to make it around half of what it is right now. Okay, so I'm just going to place it somewhere around there and then I'm going to follow the same process for all the other five cards on this page. To save some time with the text, I'm just going to click on this one. I'm going to copy it. So Command C or Control C and then Command V to bring it over here. And then I'm just going to write in new affirmations every single time. So if I wanna change up the orientation of these leaves, I would just go to flip and I can flip it horizontal or vertical just to kind of switch them up. All right, so I fast forwarded to uh, basically all six affirmation cards complete, just so you don't have to keep watching me copying and pasting and doing the same thing over and over. But basically you got the gist of how to create these. It's pretty fast once you know your design and then you have some affirmation ideas that you wanna add in here. Now, because I only have six, the next step I would do is actually um, just duplicate the page. So it's just that easy. I'm going to duplicate it. And depending on how many cards you want to offer, maybe you'll want to offer anywhere between like 20, 30, or even 40 affirmation cards. Some of mine, I offer up to 45 affirmation cards. It sounds like a lot, but you can see it's actually pretty quick once you have designed it and you could just keep duplicating and then changing up the words. My advice is to look at your competitor's shops that are offering similar affirmations and see how much they're offering in their shop and the price range that they're offering it for. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to stick to these six because now I want to create an image um, using these. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to download the PDF file that I would actually upload into my Etsy listing because this is the file that the customer is actually going to receive. So let's pretend I have many, many more pages in this file. I would go to share and then go to download. I would select PDF print that's best for printing. I'm going to flatten the PDF right here. And then I'm going to select CMYK because that's best for professional printing. You will see that that is under the pro feature as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then I would download. Now, again, this is the PDF print that will send to the customer automatically once they purchase my listing. So then they'll receive that PDF from their end, they can print it out and they will cut them based on the cut lines I've given them here. The next step I want to do is create the image for my Etsy listing. So what I mean by that is when you go onto Etsy and you look at all these listings, they have a bunch of photos, whether it's the, the thumbnail or cover photo, and then they have 
multiple images in their listing for the customer to look through. So I'm going to create something similar to these. Now I'm just going to go ahead to the homepage again of Canva and Etsy recommends a minimum of 2000 pixels wide for your image as like the shortest width. So I'm going to go to create a design custom size. I'll keep it at pixels and I'm going to do 2500 by 2500 pixels that will just ensure that your photos don't get flagged. Um, you can always make it larger to like 3000 by 3000 pixels. It's up to you. So I'm going to go create new design. Now, before I create this image, I actually need to go back to this artboard and share this as a JPEG file. You'll see why. So download it as a JPEG file. You can increase the quality if you want. You don't really need to for this, but let's go ahead and download that. Now back to my Etsy image that I'm going to create. I am going to actually upload that JPEG file. So let's go ahead over here and I'm going to upload it. So it's right over here in my uploads. Now I want a background for my image. I'm gonna to go to elements first and I kind of want like a gray wood floor as my background and I'll select photos. And there's so many options here that you can go through. Um, you can obviously pick a completely different type of image but I kind of like the gray backgrounds. So I'm gonna select this one here. I'm just going to make it larger. And I'm just going to lighten it. So let's go to transparency at the top here and let's go 60%. Now back to my uploads, I'm going to select the affirmation cards and make it larger. Basically, I just want it to look like it's just resting on the floor. So I'm going to add like a drop shadow. Let's go to edit image and let's go down to, actually let's use glow. And you can see there's kind of like a drop shadow now, but I'm just going to edit that drop shadow. You can make it larger, darker. I'm just going to edit this to say 10 blur and transparency, let's bring it down. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then just hit apply. Okay, let's make sure that's centered position and let's center that there. Now I just wanna add a text at the top that basically tells them that these are printable affirmation cards. So let's go to text. And again, I'm just pretending that I'm offering way more affirmation cards than what I created here. Um, so let's pretend it's 36. So let's go printable. The text is pretty good. I'm just going to change it to this one to make it a little bit more bold and let's make it just a little bit larger. Okay, now I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to put in affirmation cards. Okay, great. Now I'm just going to center all of these. So literally just select, go to position, and then just hit center. This one's already centered. But that looks really good as kind of like my cover photo image. And then I would just duplicate the page and add in some more images. Again, take a look at some competitor shops and see what they are showing within their images. So it's just that easy to create affirmation cards or flashcards in Canva. Now, if you're wondering how do I upload that PDF file onto Etsy and how do I upload these images into an Etsy listing? I have a bunch of videos that show that. You can actually check out any of these videos. I will link them down below for you. And I do walk you through how to even write out your descriptions and all of that. So I'll just make sure to put that all down below for you as well. So you can head over there next. Please give this video a like if it was helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions on this tutorial. Don't forget to sign up for your free Creative Fabrica trial using the link in the description box below. You get your first 10 downloads absolutely for free and you can cancel your subscription anytime. If you are currently working on your printable shop, make sure to grab my free checklist from the description box below. Now, if you want to know my full process on how I validate, create, and upload printables to Etsy, be sure to watch this video next, so I will see you there.